Welcome back to all of my amazing BAM fam. Uh, welcome back to another free yoga class brought to you by the amazing Bamboo Crew. Um, today, we're just gonna go for a fairly gentle exploration through a whole bunch of the body. There'll be a little bit of work as I always like to throw in, but we're just gonna mainly try to find some kind of conscious awareness of breath through to body and the body through to the breath and how one and the other interact with each other. So I hope you enjoy the class. Of course, make sure you hit the old uh, like button, subscribe button, notification button. There's loads of classes coming from all of us teachers every month. So make sure you are on it and in it for the game. Um, today, I'm even showing you that uh, I've got one of this season's well, they're probably the best uh, item of clothing you can possibly get. I've got some of the BAM jeans on, and I'm gonna show you just how great these jeans are, the fact that you can practice a yoga practice in your jeans. So how about that, hey? Um, obviously, this mod is here, joining in, but we're gonna get started for a nice little half hour flow. So let's get ourselves seated down. We're going to start in whatever is the most comfortable seat for you. So I like to sit cross-legged personally, but of course, that might be something which doesn't suit you. In which case, sit with your legs long out in front. Sit with your legs underneath you. <laughs> Do whatever works best for you. And then find the spine sitting up. The, the crown lifting tall. The eyes beginning to close and the breath beginning to slow. And so we just start with, as I said, a conscious awareness. This is really the key to just about everything feeling better in our life. The more we can be aware, And the more we're conscious of what's happening, both in the physical body, in our breath, and emotionally, psychologically, the easier it is for us to begin to let go of the things that we don't need to hang on to. And the easier it is for us to actually focus on the things that matter to us. So just begin to observe your breath, as I said. Count the ins and count the outs. How slowly or how fast are you breathing? How fast is your inhale? How fast is your exhale? How low and slow and deep is your inhale? How low and slow and deep is your exhale? Again, maybe have those eyes closed, just to remove a sense. If your eyes are closed, you can't be in, sort of letting your mind wander by watching things. Just gonna take another three breaths. Final breath. And then slowly begin to allow your legs to uncross and just go long out in front of you. Go straighten the legs as far out as you possibly can. And then you're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna just gently let your belly drop to your thighs. Forehead drops towards your knees. Take a couple of moments there in that forward fold. And then inhale, lift yourself up, draw the arms up over your head. 
reach your hands up as long and tall as you possibly can. And with them up and tall as possibly can, allow yourself just a little gentle bend to the right. Inhale, come back up, and then a little gentle bend to the left. Inhale, come back up, release those hands down, fingertips face back behind you, and just try to keep your hands flat on the floor, and rotate the arms in, and rotate the arms out, and you'll feel your shoulders begin to move, and you can just feel a stretch across the front of the chest as they roll back, and then a stretch across the back of your shoulders as they roll forward. Now let the knees bend in, and we're gonna push our hips up in towards that tabletop, so just let the hips rise. And again, you're just watching your breath. Exhale, let the bum swing back down between your legs and straighten your legs. Bend the knees a little bit and fold forward. Why do I say bend the knees? One, it makes it more comfortable, it makes it more accessible. It's actually better for our body as well. See if you can scrap the idea of wanting to have constantly straight legs throughout everything. Yes, I know that's what yoga, Instagram people show, but that's not what we want for our body really. Again, let's bring our hands back behind us, fingertips facing back, slide the feet in, lift the hips up, stretch through those chests, and then again, sweep the bum back down between the legs and straighten those legs out. You're gonna find those feet suck in towards you and however you wanna get there, you're gonna roll over onto hands and knees. And we're gonna take a moment to just begin to freestyle move around. So again, I want that conscious awareness always floating back in through your nose. How is this sudden movement of kind of quite sporadic, all over the shop movement where you're just kind of freestyle moving it suddenly means it's much harder to focus on what your breath is doing so can you maybe simplify the movement just go in one direction and observe how that makes breathing a little bit more accessible can you move your head at the same time as moving your ribs And then we're gonna tuck our toes, we'll turn side on. We're gonna tuck our toes, we're gonna to push down into our hands and in towards our toes. Sit back towards our child's pose, push the hips up. Now I've already said it once, do not worry about straight legs. Have bent knees and push the hips back in space. And think more about pushing those hands away. Knees stay soft, belly on thighs. and then we're gonna push through those feet. We are gonna straighten the legs now, it's gonna help us round our spine, come into a high plank. We're gonna to drop towards our knees. We're gonna fold back to child's pose. And then we're in child pose, we're gonna inhale, sweep the arms up and rise up on towards our knees. Exhale, we're gonna sink back down. Hands slide forward. And as they slide forward, we're gonna wrap our elbows let the elbows drop near to the floor, but not on the floor. Slowly lower our chest and chin down to the ground. Drop everything down. Roll the rib cage up a little bit. That's the inhale. Then we're going to exhale, roll back to child's pose. Inhale, we're going to push up through those hips. Knees stay soft. And then again, let's straighten those legs, roll ourselves forward into high plank. Drop to the knees, sink back to child's pose. Roll yourself up on towards your shins, lift yourself up. See if you can gently straighten and stretch through there. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale. Slide the hands back out in front, and again, that knees, chest, chin thing, so wrap the elbows under us, elbows hover. We're gonna slowly, and again, I like having my feet off the ground here, you don't have to. We're gonna slowly lower ourselves down, knees, chest, and chin. Let the pelvis drop, 
Inhale, rise the rib cage. Exhale, fold it down. Push back into that child's pose. And then we're gonna push through those toes again. Lift the hips up. Find that downward facing dog. This time is very much a freestyle movement. Move however you would like. Feel where your back, your hips, your thighs, anything feels like it might need a little pedal around. Pedal those feet. One at a time. Pedal them both at a time. And then from here, we're going to find our way. We're going to lift that right leg up to the sky. The right knee draws in and it taps the right elbow. Take it back to the sky again. And then again, pull that right knee in, tap the right elbow. Step your foot outside your right hand. So we're now in this front lunge. Get out of my head. And so, as you can see, even in my jeans, even in my jeans, we're able to get into that nice deep low lunge. And so, the back knee's on the ground, and we're just gently swaying around. Now, we're going to lift our back leg. Hands are grounded. Tuck your back toes. Lift the back knee. Now, the key to this next bit is I want you to see if you can get your pelvis towards the ground, but without bending your back knee. So most of the time we'll end up doing this. I want you to keep the back leg high and try and drop into this front groin. And so we're trying to get this right buttock down to the floor instead. You're gonna turn your right hand to the sky and we're gonna just try to drop in some way our right elbow down to the floor. Maybe that will go, maybe it won't. But then we're gonna reach that right hand up to the sky, reach it tall. Exhale, bring that elbow, and try and gently lower it down to the ground. One more time. Again, what's your breath doing? Are you suddenly holding it? Is it becoming too much of a challenge? Exhale to drop that elbow back down. Let the back knee drop, hands come to the floor. So we're in this kind of shape, this kind of position. We're nearly done on this side. From here, we're gonna bend our back knee. You're gonna pull it as close towards your bum as you can, your heel, then you're gonna let it go. Then again, pull that heel to bum. This time, as you do, lift your chest a little bit reach your right hand up to the sky and then let them both come back down again so you can see where this is going i'm sure heel bends up right hand lifts and maybe it goes back rather than just 12 o'clock towards the sky it goes back to one o'clock a little bit comes back down maybe it's 11 i don't know i'm pretty rubbish with figuring out what clock face we're going to so again Heel to bum, hand to the sky. Maybe this time you can reach around, try and tap your foot, and then come back out. Once you've come back out, we're gonna tuck those back toes, and we're gonna walk that right foot into the midline. And we're just gonna try and straighten our front leg to the best of our ability. Again, don't worry about it being super straight. Just allow yourself to Feel that pull in the back of the leg. Hopefully, if you can keep the chest rounded, don't worry about trying to stay long in the back, stay rounded in the back. And you should feel a nice catch as your the muscles in the back of your knee, back of the thigh. Catch that stretch. Looking forward, we're gonna lift our rib cage up. So we're here again. Now hands come to heart centre, we're going to place our belly towards our thigh, we're going to try to lean forward, lifting that back foot, pull the back knee in, and then find our way up to stand. So we're on our right foot, left knee is up towards the chest, hands are at heart centre. Taking a couple more breaths here.
and then we're going to turn that foot out to the side wherever it feels most comfortable. We're just going to rest against our inner thigh. And we breathe. So again, some of you it might be that it's only really comfortable if your toe is touching the floor. Some of you it might only be comfortable if your calf is, or if your foot is on your calf. That's what you're doing, mate. Some of you, you might need to put your foot into the inside of your knee, which is often told as a bad thing to do in yoga. Don't worry about that, they're talking rubbish. There's really no evidence that putting your foot here is gonna cause any more issues. So again, I know we're not there yet, but this would be potentially apparently the dangerous space. It's not. Maybe you can get it up to uh, the inner thigh, and then you've also got that option there. So we're, I know your right leg is killing now. Your right foot has had enough. We've just got another 10 seconds in this tree. Just letting that foot, it's kind of trying to find the floor, isn't it? I can see it in you already. It's dropping in, dropping out, dropping in, dropping out. Big toes off the floor, big toes on the floor, big toes off the floor, big toes on the floor. Now, slowly release that leg. Sweep that leg back behind you. Now again, what I want you to try and do is just to keep your toes relaxed. Don't let your left foot touch the floor yet. Just keep sinking through that front leg. Now, left toes touch the ground. Left knee touches the ground. And we find ourselves in this 90-90 leg shape. From here, inhale, the arms up. Your breath might be slightly erratic at this point because that was a lot of work in your right leg. So take a moment in this place of relative ease of the lower body to breathe, to relax. The so arms are over the head. Let your right hand relax down by your side. Once it's down by your side, reach the left hand even higher and then begin to bend over towards the right. Let your right hand rise out in front. And again, you're still breathing. You should be getting a lovely big stretch through the left side of the body. And then exhale. Bring the hands down to the floor. From here, we're gonna step that right foot back behind us. And we're gonna sink back towards child's pose. Aren't these jeans bloody wonderful, hey? From here, tuck our toes, roll up on towards your shins. Toes are tucked, so we're getting a stretch, a little bit of a pull through the underside of the foot. Inhale, squeeze the bum cheeks on, lift up to a nice vertical position on your shins and knees. Reach to all bend backwards. Exhale, come back down. Release the hands, bring them out in front. And we're gonna again roll ourselves down through knees, through chest and through chin, nice and slowly. Let the pelvis come down. Inhale, roll up and back into that child's pose. So again, we're gonna go freestyle, down dog. Lift those hips up, push through the toes. Pedal and shake yourself around. Explore whatever works best for your body. Maybe come into a little vashi stuff, the side plank stuff. You just explore around. Maybe you don't. Maybe that feels like hell on earth. So two times knee taps, left leg to the sky. Keep the right leg nice and soft. Pull that left knee in, roll it through, tap the left elbow. Take it back. Again, I bet you, your breath is starting to become more erratic. Observe it, notice it, go with it, but try and feel a control to the heavy breathing. This time, the foot steps forward to the outside of your left hand. And so we're back in this here lunge position. And as you can see, the jeans are fine. We can get right in there real deep. So the back knees off the floor for now. Again, if you want to put it down because you that last bit was a bit uh, hard work, then of course drop it. And let yourself catch your breath. This is always, always, always your body, your choice, your practice. 
Remember the point of this practice today is for some conscious awareness, to be aware of how our bodies, how our movement, how our practice is affecting our breathing. So again, we are all gonna just try to lift our back knee for a second. And we're gonna take our left hand out in front. We're gonna try to gently lower. And again, you might not get all the way there. Don't worry, but you're gonna try and gently lower, keeping the right knee lifted, the elbow to the floor. Then we're gonna twist up to the left, maybe getting the odd click and crack from the spine. Left elbow drops back down towards the floor. It touches or doesn't. Twisting back up towards the sky. And then again, exhale, twisting back through. Maybe the elbow touches, maybe it doesn't. But the hand comes to the floor and we drop the back knee. So once we're there, again, we're gonna just begin to bend our right foot up towards our right bum cheek. And you can you touch your bum? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. You probably can't in all fairness. And then let it come back down. And then you're gonna go again, pull that heel up towards your bum, and then lift your left hand up to the sky, straight up vertical. And you should feel like there is a, an increased stretch through that thigh as you reach upwards. And then again, you're going to come back down to the floor. So again, pull that right heel to bum, reach your left hand up over your head, and you're going to go back slightly further this time. So you're not going to worry about touching the foot just yet. Keep pulling the heel into bum, and then come back out again. Final time. So this time you're going to try and get the tap. And again, it's not important if you do or you don't. Bend the knee, heel to bum, lift the hand, take it back. Maybe, maybe, maybe you can touch your foot. Maybe, maybe, maybe you can't. But this time you're going to come back out and you're going to walk that left foot towards the midline. You're going to tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, straighten the front leg to the best of your ability. And again, as always, Actually getting a straight leg is not important. The rounded spine should help us take the stress and the stretch away from in the bottom and upper hamstring and place it more into the lower hamstring towards the back of the knee. So just a couple more little reps, a little more movements in and out. Then we're gonna bend ourselves forward, lift ourselves upright. Chest is up, head is up, hands come to heart center. Belly and thighs come together. We're gonna to push our chest forward, our head forward, till our right foot wants to lift. We hover there for a second, then we pull the right knee in towards our chest, heel to bum, push ourselves up to vertical. So now we're here again, and we're just gonna hang out here for a few moments. In a minute, we're gonna take that tree pose again, but as you know from last time, we ended up being in this position for a fair amount of time. And it makes our ankle have to work. But again, what I want you to be aware of, to notice, to observe, is to have that awareness of what your foot is doing. And as your foot is wriggling around, trying desperately to work out how to make you balance better, are you gripping your toes? And with all of this, what's your breathing doing? How can you relax? Maybe. You need to hold something a little bit. Maybe you actually need to release this foot and just put your toe to the floor. Maybe that's actually what you need to find a better base. But wherever you are, we're gonna find this uh, rickshasana, tree pose. Big toe maybe touches the floor, maybe doesn't. Maybe it comes to the inner thigh, your right foot comes to the inner calf of your left foot. Maybe it goes to the inner knee of your left foot. Maybe it comes up to the inner thigh of your left leg. And again, we stay here, another 15 seconds. I know I'm with you on this one. The left ankle, woohoo, it's feeling it. The left foot is feeling it. Try not to grip your toes. And maybe this is an opportunity when again, I know it's stressful in the foot, but there's not much movement, so maybe we can get our breath under control. Now release that leg again, hands to heart center. Again, we're gonna sweep that right leg back 
Try not, if you can, if you need to hold a wall, do so. But try not to let your foot touch the floor for as long as possible. Keep bending, bending, bending through that right, through that left leg, that front leg. When you can't get any more, put your right toes to the floor, your right knee to the floor. We're in this 90, 90 leg shape on the ground. Let's inhale the arms up to the sky. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Beautiful, so now again, we're in this space. There's no real movement going on. What's your breath doing? How fast is it? If it's really quite fast and erratic, why not try this? Take two inhales through the nose and then a gentle exhale through the mouth, but prolonged. Maybe one more of those. And as you exhale that breath, let your left hand come down beside you. Maybe that's made you suddenly feel a little calmer. Reach that right hand up to the sky. Go on, reach it, reach it, reach it. Then bend over towards it and push the hips forward. And as you travel those hips forward, let the left hand come out in front. You should be getting a big stretch through this whole right inner thigh, right groin, right chest, left hand forward. Then exhale, hands come down to the ground. Step that left foot back behind you again. Find child's pose. Look forward between your hands. Wrap those elbows in. Shift your weight forward. And again, we rock onto knees. And we're coming down. So your chest and your chin also touch. Let everything come down to the floor. Onto your belly. So once we're on our belly, that left hand goes wide. The right hand comes under your right shoulder, just gonna stretch our left chest a little bit. So observe your left shoulder, and just see if you can notice that you can actually rotate it backwards, and the front of your shoulder comes away from the floor a little bit. At this point, lift the right leg, twist it back behind you. Maybe you'll get to touch your toes to the floor, maybe you won't. Maybe you just wanna bring your right foot directly behind the left, that might be enough of a stretch for you. For three, two, one, come back out. Take the left hand under your left shoulder, the right hand out beside you. And again, take a second to roll that shoulder away. Lift your left foot up, twist it back behind you. Touch and breathe for five, Three, and one. Slowly come back out. Hands under chest and shoulders. Lift yourself up and roll back to child's pose. Take a moment in child's pose. in your own time. Gently let yourself come forward. Sweep either your legs around or just roll on towards your back, whichever way is easiest for you. But just gently allow yourself to relax down towards the ground. Observe your breathing. Perfect chance now. How much were you able to watch your breath throughout that practice? How much did you let things take your mind and body away from the moment. As you notice, most likely, I tend to practice my dogs around. They can get a little bit annoying. I understand many of you will practice at home with your kids around. They probably also get a little bit annoying if you try to find your space. But yoga, meditation is not about running away from external stimulus. It's not about running away from the things that annoy us. That doesn't actually help us in any way. It's about observing them, having an awareness, a conscious awareness of how much attention we give them and how much attention we can just give into the moment. 
over time and practice, the better we get at breathing, the better we get at tolerating those physiological changes which yoga, meditation, breathing, exercise gives us, the easier it actually is to let those things slide, to not get frustrated by them. As you take just another three breaths to let yourself relax. To let yourself unwind. Just take a moment to thank yourself. It's kind of one of those corny, cliched yoga things to say, but to actually take half an hour for yourself quite often is actually much harder than we give ourselves credit for. So just do that, just for a moment, say, good on you. Thanks for giving myself 30 minutes. Give yourself a little deep inhale in, begin to wriggle your fingers and toes, your wrists and your ankles, and then draw your knees up in towards your chest. And as those knees come up in towards your chest, gently begin to roll yourself forward and backward. Find your way up to a nice comfortable seated position. And as you find that nice comfortable seated position, find the spine growing tall, the crown lifting up. One more breath in, one more breath out, and then allow the hands to rise in prayer up to the third eye and fold forward down over your legs. Lakas Samastha Sukhina Bhavantu. May all beings be happy and free. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you, folks. Hope you all enjoyed that. Hopefully, you survived. Uh, hopefully you managed to keep some awareness of your breathing. Um, by all means, as I say, please do, please do, please do, please do. Make sure you hit the subscribe, follow, like, uh, notifications, leave comments below. Be as uh, part of the community as, we, as you possibly can. We love having you all part of it. Um, and yeah, make sure you come check me out on my own Instagram and my own uh, YouTube channels if you like them. There is lots of other yoga teachers and Pilates teachers here as well though. So make sure you hit that notifications for all of the new classes. Have a wicked day everyone and hope you enjoyed that and survived and we will see you all soon. Doug says bye. You say goodbye? He says goodbye.